Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Madonna Ballard and I'll be your host, scary as I am. I just came from taking the dogs out. It's windy here, really windy, really cold. It rained for two days and then last night it snowed. So it's slippery, cold, windy. Eh, it's winter, South Dakota. What do you expect? So anyway, welcome to my channel. Um, I came on today because Debbie, the Canadian crotcheter, tagged me to do some questions that she got tagged on. It's a vicious circle. What are you going to do? Um, before I get to those, I'll go over just a little bit of what I've been doing. I made, I know this is going to surprise you, another divine hat. I had one sparkly Mandela. So I made a hat. I don't know what happened on the bottom. I mean, it fits okay, but it's kind of big. But the bigger, the warmer, right? Um, that's probably not right, but anyway. And um, I made some scrunchies for the Grow Your Channel guys. Um, they're already in the mail, but if you go to my Instagram, you can see them there. I took a picture. And I made, for my best friend for Christmas, one of my best friends, I made a ear warmer. I already showed some of this. And then remember I made Crystal's um, cowl thing with all the fringe? I ripped it out. Or, yeah, progged it. And then I made this hat. A divine hat. What are the odds? And it's not, I don't know what. But anyway, divine hat. And since I frogged that other cowl, I made the divine cowl. I didn't know there was such a thing, or I'd have been making these all along too. I think it goes this way. I don't know. But, so, that Christmas present is done. And then her husband, I'm making him a hat and a cowl as well. Probably not a divine hat, but you never know. He doesn't like cheese, so I mean, I can't understand. I can, I can understand people being lactose intolerant, not able to eat cheese, but not liking cheese, being able to eat it and not eating it because you don't like it. That just is nuts. But anyway. So, other, well, I don't know where they are, but I made other stuff. I did. So, how's everybody doing? And uh, I guess I'll get to the tag. I'm not going to have as good of answers as most of you, but I know I look like a ghost. Stupid window. You know, what good is making curtains if they don't keep you from looking like that? Oh, well, I'm not sitting like that all the time, so. Oh, worse. Yeah, sorry. Okay, so. Um, okay, question number one on this holiday tag. What is your go-to crafting method for the holidays? And is it decor, well, whether either decor or for gifting? That's pretty easy. Crochet. Or glue gun. Either one. I don't do much in, as far as crafting goes. Um, but I, if I do do something, it's almost always crochet. Once in a while, I'll see something on one of the D, DIY channels or... Not Pinterest. I used to go on Pinterest once in a while, but once I got lost for like three days, I couldn't get out, so I don't go there anymore. Um, where you just take ribbon and glue it to something, and you know, pretty easy. Um, and question number two handmade gifts or store bought or both? 
Um, both. Usually mostly just handmade and I don't have that many people that I exchange with that I buy for. A couple of my friends, my daughter. That's about it. Um, so a little bit of both. Most craft worthy person. The dogs. Only because I make them these mats to lay on like in, in here with me or in my room at the end of my bed. They sleep on the floor. Well, Buddy sleeps in the bed, but Tess sleeps on the floor. And even if you make them out of cotton and you can wash them and wash them, who wants to put all that dog hair in your washer all the time? So usually I just toss them and make new ones. So the dogs are the most craft worthy in my family. Or my daughter, but I don't throw her stuff away. She doesn't shed that much. Um, what luxury craft item is on your wish list? Don't hold back. I think, I don't know. I don't, there isn't really anything I want. I mean, there's a lot of stuff I want, but like a big, a ball winder maybe. I mean, I can get one of those myself. Um, there really isn't. I mean, I have a wish list, but it just has little piddly crap on it. I mean, it's no big deal. A uh, hundred dollar gift certificate to Icy Irons. Although a hundred dollars wouldn't buy that much once you got the shipping on there. But I don't know. There really isn't anything. I'm pretty happy with what I got. I have tons of yarn. Um. <clears throat> Describe a crafty holiday tradition you do every year. There isn't one. Um, we have, I'll show you sometime, these three plaques. They're like this, you know, they're probably 18 inches tall and 8 inches wide maybe that my aunt, years and years and years, like hundreds of years ago, um, made the three wise men and they're one's gold one's blue and one's pink and then it's kind of like it's on burlap and then one of them has a star but everything's made I've seen them before out of jewelry old jewelry like brooches and uh, they're just beautiful we put those up every year but that's about our only tradition that has anything to do with crafts and I didn't make it but um, somehow I ended up with it and she also made this is way back before ceramics was so common it was more of a art form that only certain people did or whatever but she made um, she had five or four brothers and sisters and she made all the families um, ceramic nativity scenes the whole thing the wise men, the aminals, the baby Jesus, I mean everything. It, they were beautiful and she painted them. Oh, they were beautiful. I don't know what happened to my mom's, but my brother probably got it. I don't know. But those are the only really crafty things we do. I don't do anything crafty. Um, my holiday decor, I just told you, the three wise men. That's all we do. We have a little teeny, teeny tiny mobile home. I mean, there's just no room. I have one little tree that's made up of, it looks like different colored bubbles, but we don't do a lot. Um, Jesus is the reason for the season, not the decorations. Um, describe the biggest or most complicated item you've made for the holidays. What was it? When did you start it, and how long did it take? Wow, over the years, way back, like way back, over 30 years ago, I did a graph scan. You know, where you have all the little bobbles and stuff. And I started it <clears throat> in like July of that year. I was going to give it for Christmas. They didn't get it till the next Christmas, so it took me a year and a half. But I got it done, and it wasn't that bad. But it's also the reason I will never do another one. It was beautiful, but was it worth it? I don't know. Maybe to them, not to me. 
Um, holiday crafting fail. There have been many. Um, I don't know. Just... Like maybe my first corner to corner, I could not figure it out. The de decrease, and it came out, I don't know what shape it was, but it wasn't square. And I think I just threw it away. I do that a lot. A lot of doilies I try to make for people too, and I just end up throwing them away. I don't, I don't have patience, and I don't like ripping things out. I'm not a good frogger. Although I do like the game frogger, you know, where you have to get across the highway. I like that game. But. Describe the best crafty gift you have received for which holiday, for whatever holiday you celebrate. Um, wow. I'm, uh, when you're my daughter, I wanted this hat, but it was that icky, ugly, stupid craft that she does and um, it was this really cool green yarn and had it was like an illusion thing and if you look at it just right you can see an alien in it and I told her how cool that was and showed her the pattern this was a long time ago and she made it and gave it to me for Christmas and it was so awesome I think I cried it was so cool. She did such a good job. Even if it was... Ugh. Anyway. Um, oh, share your favorite holiday mug. That's easy. Because my mug goes for any holidays. There you go. Yep. That's what I drink out of every morning. And no, I don't go to McDonald's every morning. I make my own coffee. But... When I do go to McDonald's, I save these and I use them because it really does keep it warm longer. So, there you go. Those are my 10 answers. That didn't take as long as I thought it would. So now, who am I going to tag? I'm going to tag, of course, D, Granny D, Knit Pearl and Squirrel, um, Camille, yeah. Um, Dolly Face Knits. Can't believe I say that word so many times. This is our crochet channel. Seta, up in Alaska. Come on, I don't think she watches my stuff. But, if she happens to catch the tail end, your tag, Seta. Um, Crochet Rocks, Tracy. Vero, at Vero's Crochet and Furl's Hooks. I don't know what um, crochet me pink Kelly and I think that's all I have on my list so there you go girls get to work um, I guess that's all I don't have anything else to show you anything else that I've done or that I have acquired recently it was going for Christmas gifts, so I can't show you that stuff. Sorry. But I do have some sparkly yarn if you just want to look at some sparkly yarn. Isn't that pretty? That's what I have left out of that cake. So, everybody, have a wonderful week. Enjoy the rest of this day and laugh, 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 because life's too short not to.